Okay, one of the first things uh, that makes sense to do is when you first get interested in trying to conserve your electrical power um, is to put a spreadsheet together where you put what your rate per kilowatt hour is up in one corner so you read that off your electrical bill then make a list of all the things that you have uh, that can use electrical power in the house so I listed all my fans stereos uh, television sets and you put both the standby power and the on power and the computers, laptops, cable modem, refrigerators, so forth. Then in the next column uh, you would put uh, how many of them that you want to have active at any one time. So like right now I have, I'm in the, the, the den so I'm saying okay I'm gonna have the one light on and I know it's a compact uh, fluorescent and it's drawing four watts. Uh, put the watts for the others all the way down through the list here. And that's something that you can determine by using a kilowatt meter, which I'll show a picture of in a second. That's about a $20 device. Anyway, so you uh, get the basic idea. You put the how many you're going to use, how many watts per, how many hours per day you expect to use it. So for instance, this den light, which I uh, might uh, keep on for 14 hours during the day. It'll draw, uh, excuse me, six hours during the day at 14 watts. Tells me how many kilowatt hours in the day I'll use with the light. Um, the uh, next thing you can do is if you go across here, it'll tell you how many kilowatts per month, kilowatts per year, what the basic cost for running it is per hour, and so forth. And uh, if you run the run that all that information down you can get some totals this here is how many kilowatt hours I'll use probably today around 5.7 kilowatt hours and this is on average what it would be for per hour divided by in the, you know for the 24 hours and then uh, if I was to run at this kind of rate continuously my daily usage would be about 52 cents, monthly use about $18.90, and then for the year, $226. So that's the basic concept. It's just to just give you a, a template for figuring out what appliances use what kind of power and uh, where you can get some savings and so forth. Uh, one of the big areas is uh, if you look at like a most of my power right now I'm using 160 watts almost all that is due to the computer being on and the monitor being on and uh, if you put your computer on uh, automatic sleep after 10 minutes or so including the display you can drop down to like 7 watts and all you have to do is just come back and take it out of sleep mode and you're back in business so there's quite a bit of savings if you uh, make that one change to your energy uh, setup at home Okay. Okay, it's about uh, three thirty in the morning. Just want to show you. Uh, I have one of these uh, total energy detectors connected up to the house uh, breaker box, and then it has a monitoring panel up in the my computer room so I can see how much power the house is consuming all the time and uh, I've done a complete audit of the house so I've got uh, basically the minimum amount of things running when I'm not using it you can see right now it's saying that uh, the house is using about only about 70 watts and uh, I could uh, I actually have gotten this down to zero but uh, the kind of the things that are on here that uh, keep it up is I got the computer shut off, but the the cable modem is plugged in. Uh, I've got probably three cordless phones that are plugged in. Uh, the garage door openers are those are plugged in, so they all consume, you know, 10 watts a piece or something when they're just sitting idle like this. Now I'll, I'll turn on the. Uh, the room room light here and you can see how it'll go up okay you can see it went up to 80 watts just by turning the uh, computer light on or the computer room light on here 
Okay, now I'm going to turn the, the computer on. So it starts to boot up, it goes up to 150 watts, 140. I'm going to turn on the monitor. Okay, the monitor is coming up. So this is typical uh, when I'm sitting here working in the morning, computer on, one light on, uh, it's about 170, 180 watts as long as the refrigerator doesn't click on. So uh, if I can uh, just stay like this all day with the refrigerator running, you can see the kilowatt hours used per the day by the end of the day, 24 hours. I usually average probably uh, four some days it's as low as three some days uh, five or so depending on how much I got going on and uh, you can see uh, I actually before I got this device I was probably on average burning oh uh, more than 10 kilowatt hours a day now I'm averaging about a little less than half of that it's mainly been going around the house and unplugging things like the stereos or putting them on power switches so that when I'm not using them they're not using any other what's called vampire power which is power that's being used by the device even when it's shut off like televisions that are turned off and so forth so uh, yeah you don't save a whole lot of money you know but it adds up over time so uh, as I'm trying to convert the house into a solar panel operation, you can see it won't take long for uh, my uh, total usage for the day to drop down to zero. Uh, during the day, uh, as I mentioned on my other video, I got a 65 watt panel up. And it'll subtract, or, you know, if we get a sunny day today, this 170 watts, which if I shut the light off, it'll get down to like 150 during the day. and uh, if uh, the solar panel starts working with some good light, I'll be down in the uh, 100 watt range during the day. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm down in the basement. I just want to show you how the total energy detector works. You basically get this uh, small box that uh, you wire it up to uh, two probes. One current probe goes around uh, one of the 120 volt sides of your panel and the other current probe goes around the other one. So there's no, uh, no electrical contact. It's picking up the, uh, the uh, magnetic field from the alternating current that's flowing through those cables. Goes down to the uh, little box and then the box itself has two wires. One wire goes to one of your spare breakers so I just wired it in to one of the other breakers and then the white wire goes up and ties into the neutral bar so uh, I'll get this all buttoned up and uh, tucked away here and put the panel back on but just want to show you basically what it does is the well, this little box here measures the the kilowatts that are being drawn by the house and it, then it uh, broadcasts that data right back into the house wiring and then the device up on the my computer desk will be able to uh, receive that signal and be able to read out to me up there what's actually going on in the house. Now each one of these has a unique house code that uh, it comes with it that you will then when you do the setup on the monitor up at the desk that you can make it match your particular house all right pretty simple I got this uh, this is the Ted 1000 which is the original model which I got on eBay for sixty five dollars you can buy the newer ones which actually has the the monitor like I got upstairs but it's on a wireless so you can carry it around with you want that's that's over two hundred dollars um, some people like those this one works pretty good because once I figured out all the things in the house that use power, I don't need to 
walk around the house like I used like I did originally so I think if you can pick up one of these Ted 1000s uh, cheaply it'll it'll paper itself pretty quickly and reducing your power uses once you figure out what what takes power in your house